Hey guys, it's me again with Willow, the Pepper Spaniel here. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, how to do the neck on a setter. Um, I haven't got a setter now here to work with. Um, so I'll show you on her because it's basically gross. Spaniels have more or less the same type of hair and they furnish into where they grow. So if you don't want to clip a neck, um, you can scissor it. Irish and English setters and Irish red and whites are often scissored and not clipped. And um, the best tool for that I found is a texturizing razor, which um, is a hairdressing or barber tool. Um, and um, it's basically a cutthroat razor, like the one that opens and for, for the close shave. Uh, but this one is encased in a, like a case with the teeth around it. So you um, cannot cut the skin with it and injure the dog. So, and it works like a rake. We're just going to be scraping um, the coat out basically on a 45 degree angle. Um, and the razor inside there will cut the hair. But it being texturizing, it means that it blends it really nicely. So you don't get no uh, obvious rough scissor marks. So I just need to um, go grab a hairband for her ears, get that out of the way. Willow stay. Down stay. So I'm just gonna band with a little elastic band. Just gonna put her ears out of the way. Okay, she'll just get like a little mandarin uh, bun back there. And uh, we've cut a little bit of uh, coat there. And I'll just take my razor. Let's see which way I've got better light. Um, and I'm just going to start stretch the skin. So you have to hold your head back. And you're just going to start. I mean, her coat is laying quite neatly. Um, and I really just want to remove anything that would stick out. And I'm just going to run the razor some places it takes more than others because it um, you might want to be careful over they throw it there um, and I need to stretch the skin more by pulling it up here with my thumb See, we've cut off anything loose there. Really stretch the skin nicely, and we just run the razor. And then they have this ridge there on the side, and here that you could see where the hair from the back of the neck grows in this direction and the hair from the throat grows opposite and it creates this line just under the ear down to their breastbone and this bulk uh, would always be scissored with thinners um, and we'll just take that off um, and you just scissor that line neatly with your thinners right from the breastbone down there stay well so you've been a good girl with the thinners and uh, I've done one side of her neck um, that's been blended in um, nicely and not the other side you see this is why this has to be taken out all this 
like we took it out on this side and she's got a nice clean neck on that side um, and then we do it on this side as well and she's a very good girl she knows to tilt her head for me good girl good girl Just that neckline and to the feathers. And the reason we do this is because in the back of the neck, the coat can be stripped and pulled, but on the throat, these are basically their feathers. So you can't strip them out, you can't pull them. That would really hurt and you would end up with a bold, a bold neck. And then I'll just run the razor over a little bit more um, and that needs a bit more scissor um, now normally I would scissor this on a clean bath dog but these are my old scissors so they can go into an unbathed coat and I'll just do a tidy up on her when she's clipped. And there's your scissor neck. Oh, good girl, you're getting a bit warm, aren't you, darling? So let's just have a look at Wills. Willow, turn around for me, darling. We might have a better light than this one. Come on, Wills. Good girl. No, come on. That way, so she's got a nice clean skull that we did in the previous video, and she's got a neat neckline where there's no hair sticking out. There's a few little bits um, that I can just see that doesn't want to, which kind of sticks out the way. But you could do finishing touches once the dog's been bathed and dry it nicely and you would only remove the hair that sticks out, you see, and she's got no hair, she's got a clean, nice clean throat um, <clears throat> and neck and no bulky hair hanging out of there. So that's how easy it was to scissor the neck if you don't want to clip it on your setter using, um, these are Samurai five and a half inch thinners uh, and that's a Kamisori texturizing uh, blade, but Samurai also do a texturizing razor. They always look more or less like this. So thank you very much for watching and um, we will do some other videos in the future as well. I've got a few other topics lined up for you guys. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.